Taylor, please take it okay. away. Okay. So now, now you're not on camera. Now I'm not on camera. Well, that's great. Now I can. <laughs> okay. Now well, I can play. Spawning yeah, in okay. the top position of January Green Wings. It is the Red Protoss player. Jeans, SOS. man. Jeans. <laughs> and in the bottom position, um, the Blue Zerg player. It's Acer Nurchio, but he's not on Acer anymore. So it's. Um, uh, Nurchio. Just Nurchio. Uh, Euronix team. Euronix. 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 Yep. Okay. Teammates um, with uh, Fire Kick now. Are they a new team? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Nurchio, Fire Kick, and the Muslim are in Europe. Oh, the Muslim guy. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty good team. So, yeah, a very quick scout by SOS. Good luck, Hafan says Nurchio. I need to turn up the brightness on this for the next match. Okay. Um, so, we see SOS probably going to go for that Nexus first. Um... Probably Nexus first into a double adept. We've seen that a lot in the PvZ matchup just because you're allowed to get uh, away with such greed. And the two adepts will punish any overdroning that the Zerg may do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on. But as we see a block here from uh, SOS trying to block that hatchery. He does know he's uh, Nurtrio is going to go that three hatch. But... Uh, you might pylon block. Would you pylon block in this situation? Uh, yeah, I think I would. But um, I mean, Nurture, Nurture already decided to go for the pool as he, as he, you know, gave enough credit to SOS. No, you know, the world champion is probably not gonna let me place that hatchery. So, just drops a pool right away, and, and it's not gonna be too too bad for Nurture. But well done by SOS, regardless. Now, the thing that worries me right now is that if uh, SOS does go for this double adept, which it doesn't look like he's actually going for a double gas instead, so maybe Stargate play. But if he does go for that double depth, the gas is actually pretty delayed from Nurtio. <laughs> go on. But um, as we see the standard six slings coming out from Nurtio, um, probably gonna send a couple across. I can't see the Overlord because you're staring at the Twitch chat at them lolling. Um, but yeah, we see the Zealot coming out, which is an indicator that's going to be a uh, tier 2 tech toys. Probably Stargate is my guess. And we'll see if Nurtio is able to scout it out. <laughs> you can't laugh, like, right now. There, there's a two-minute <laughs> delay, so it's just catching up on, on recent events. And yeah, it's, yeah, it is what it is. You don't tell your friends. Any publicity. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, this is a fantastic game we have in our hands. All right, so... Uh, Nurtio, where the Ling's at, if the Ling's go up the ramp and see the Zealot, it's a pretty big indicator to Nurtio that it is probably a Stargate or some kind of tier 2 tech choice. Um, wouldn't be surprised if he throws down Blind Spores just to be safe and then drones up behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, speed's coming out, Standard Queen, um, no layer yet in sight, so we can see that he's just droning up trying to get ahead economically. And the Zerglings are going to come up. I'm surprised he just brought all the Ling's up. Maybe not scouting for proxy pylons or anything like that, but as we see, good micro from Nurtio pulling back the weak Zerglings. And yeah, you did see the Stargate. That's pretty big. And uh, that was well done by SOS as well. I feel like Nurtio could have even committed because SOS, SOS did give him a little bit more surface yeah. area by moving the Zealot. It would have made it so that two links uh, could have attacked at a time. But um, Nurtio not wanted to risk it. I mean, the Adept would have popped out in time, but yeah, he didn't necessarily know that. But still, be being pretty cautious, and, and that's the right thing. Playing like, playing like, not not trying to get a, a, a wave uh, or a head by, you know, just getting lucky, but rather outplaying as well. Yeah, we see uh, no Oracle, just going straight into Phoenix. So I guess more of a safer choice. But uh, Nurtio's not even going for blind spores like he probably should. But maybe he just guessed it was Phoenixes. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you actually dictate whether it's Phoenix or Oracle before you see the Stargate, like, when you see it, but you don't see what's producing out of it? Do you just assume it's Oracle? Uh, I mean, if it's Phoenix, then they'll start killing your Overlords pretty soon, oh as we say here. So, yeah, you, you still want to make sports regardless most of the time, or extra queens. Uh, the response to Phoenix and Oracle should be pretty similar for the most part, so it, it doesn't really matter which one it is. Uh, Stargate is not for me. Okay, so we do see the Roachborn going down. Creep Spread's actually developing quite well. There's nothing to really contest it at the moment. Um, but Nurtio is getting Overlord speed and going up to one Evo Chamber, probably for plus one attacks and going to go into that Roach Ravager style. That he actually likes, like every time I've seen him play on a different person's stream, he always likes the style of Zerg. So we'll see how that works out for him. 
Um, Lair's starting. SOS is getting quite a bit of Overlord kills, um, but he's mainly just doing it just to deny vision of the map. Maybe for a war prism. As we see, double Robo Bay actually coming in from uh, SOS. So yeah, this is this is pretty much the bread and, bread and butter butter of uh, Protoss these days. And uh, like you said, I, I, was this? Yeah, this was just a single Stargate Phoenix. Most a lot of Protoss are going into two Stargate Phoenix and, and then into the double Robo. Um, the only thing about this is it's a little bit more dangerous against Muta, but you can see SOS is still producing Phoenix, so I, I like this quite a bit. And that's one of the reasons why he didn't go for the drone line right away. With with lower counts of Phoenix, he was just happy going for the Overlord kills, and those don't co don't cost any energy. As he amounts more more energy, he can always get those uh, drones, but. Of course, the later you get them, the less impact they have, um, the drone kills has. Mm -hmm. And we see from Nurture actually going for Hydra, so it looks like it's going to be Ling Hydra, which is, uh, I've actually not seen that much uh, in Legacy of the Void. Um, maybe because it's Disruptors or Adepts do so well against um, Ling. But maybe he's going to do something different. I mean, Ling Hydra is pretty, pretty hot style in CVP. Uh, uh, to some extent, yeah. The the thing about Link Hydra in, in in Legacy of the Void is that for the most part, Ravagers replace the role that Hydras had. Not in this situation because there's already Phoenixes out, but uh, normally Ravagers are are just very similar units to Hydra in the sense that they cost a bunch of gas and they do a lot of damage. They replace the Hydras with with the higher range of the Roaches, mm -hmm. so they complement the Roach army well. But that's why that's why you don't see as many Hydras basically. Um, so yeah, Link, Link Hydra is a little bit, a little bit unorthodox. He's he's gonna be adding the the, the lurker then, which is to be expected, and, and uh, an infestation pit, which kind of means that he wants to continue to try to be passive for the most part. And, and maybe it's not links that he's going for. It might just be ultras that he's trying to get to eventually. And that's that, that lurker is like a, a safety sense. net kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so lurker to the center. Mm. Of the but you know, SOS uh, picking up a lot of hydras loses a phoenix, but he picked off three four three hydras, I think. Yeah, definitely worth it. I think Nurture could have gotten one more Phoenix there, and it's it's usually good to try to target the Phoenix that's lifting the Hydra. But I mean, Hydra still die so fast that it usually doesn't matter. But that that was that was really well done by SOS. I mean, SOS taking a fourth now. Um, seems to really be ramping up his production. He added on seven gateways, and he's actually going for that Charge Lot Archon Immortal, mm -hmm. and which is pretty much the bread and butter of Protoss nowadays. Yeah. And we'll see if. Uh, Nurtio can do anything. He's getting two infestors, maybe the catch. Like the Phoenix, maybe, and also for the for the Celots, that's gonna help a lot. Oh, this, yeah. this type of army composition tends to bump a lot because the Celots are, are really small units. So look, one fungal would catch that entire army pretty much, or, or at least more than half of it. Um, SOS losing a Phoenix is kind of a big deal for him though, because he, he, the, the, the role of the Phoenix and, and why they're so important in PVC right now is the fact that Lurkers are, are such a prevalent unit in the matchup. <laughs> And the Phoenix really need to lift up those lurkers. Unfortunately mm -hmm. for Nurture, he's only morphing four, but he has enough support that he might be able to do something. Oh and God. the Phoenix come in. It's not going to be enough. He lifts up one lurker too. The lurkers will uh, uh, reburrow as soon as the the Phoenix drop him. But it looks like this might just be too much for Nurture. Um, as always, with just such a great timing. And again, this is a little bit faster of a timing that you would normally see from Protoss, just simply because he cut on the second Stargate, for example. Uh, he didn't do ridiculous amounts of damage or anything like that. It's just a, a slightly faster timing that you're than you're used to seeing with, uh, from Protoss with a, a little bit less units. Um, yeah, it's it's like a mini, it's like a mini timing, right? Like yeah, it's, it's but it was so good. It hit that really, timing. really, really well done. Yeah. Maybe if the lurkers were a little bit quicker, the Morphin. But it was still. Like... But even then, the the problem for Nurture was that he was going so many different ways. Mm -hmm. I don't think that he was expecting the attack at this exact timing mm -hmm. because it was earlier than than he's used to seeing it at. So what he was doing was taking to infestors. That's um, 150 gas plus 150 gas plus 450 gas uh, plus whatever upgrades he was getting. It, it was just a lot of gas that could have been lurkers instead. Like he could have had like five more lurkers if he wanted to, and then I think he would have held pretty easily. But uh, he was making the, the judgment call that, that a lot of the time players, um, when they feel like they are maybe the underdog, will do, right? Like, cut corners. Yeah, and, they have to in order to, like, compensate that's for That's what it. you feel. That's what you feel like you have to do. But oftentimes, <clears throat> the best players in the world, as SOS has shown us here, will punish that. <coughs> um, and, and not let a slightly, perhaps, worse player than him try to get away with all those, mm -hmm. those advantages that might amount to 
just enough to to beat them. So. And I mean, Nurture was always in a defensive stance at that point, losing the Overlords to the Phoenixes, having to uh, cope with the harass of the Phoenixes, mm -hmm. and it just led up to that strong attack. So really well played from SOS. Very. Well